we have a double inequality where x plus 1 is bigger than negative 1 and x plus 1 is smaller or equal to 5. And notice that I'm reading the inequality from the position of the variable. So x plus 1 is bigger than negative 1 and x plus 1 is smaller or equal to 5. So the way that I recommend to solve this inequality is to ignore one of the sides. So let us just focus on the left side. So if I want to isolate x, I would move the plus 1 to the left hand side and that will become x is bigger than negative 1 minus 1, which is the same as saying x is bigger than negative 2. And now I can bring back the right hand side where x plus 1 was smaller than 5 and I repeat that calculation. So I move the plus 1 now to the right hand side and that becomes 5 minus 1. That means that x would be smaller or equal to 4. So when I simplify this original expression, I find that x must be bigger than negative 2 and x must be smaller or equal to 4. So let us consider a number line and we find negative 2 on the number line and we indicate negative 2 with an open O and we also find 4 on the number line and we indicate that with a closed O because x can be smaller or equal to 4. And what we learn from this inequality that x can be any value between negative 2 but not equal to negative 2 all the way up to 4 including 4. So in our interval notation our minimum value would be negative 2 with a curved bracket and our maximum value would be 4 with a square bracket.